guest today at Open Tap is somebody who walks the talk when it comes to doing things differently or following your dreams or following your passions. Coming from a very small village in Punjab, she had the guts and the ambition to dream big. Not only did she dream big, but she actually took steps to fulfill them. After a successful stint at the Indian Air Force for the last 10 years, where she was leading a communication unit for almost three years, she moved a successful transition to the corporate world. Currently, she works for a multinational Swiss bank, managing a large team of engineers. So without further delay, let's welcome our fantastic guest, Sumedha Chopra. Thank you so much, Amit. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Well, it all started long back when I was doing my engineering and uh, I was pursuing, I was uh, part of my placement cell in my college. Uh, so I got to know, you know, that there was something called as UES entry, which is a university entry scheme. But fortunately, unfortunately, it, it was only for the male candidates uh, for the uh, army. But uh, that that was something which you know uh, got me uh, thinking that we we are in an equal world now, and uh, there are a lot of opportunities. Then why not me? So that was the first uh, uh, instinct, I would say, uh, or first thought when it happened. There was nobody in the family in the defense services, so uh, that area was little uh, you know uh, little gray, I would say. That, uh, as luck would have it, that time when I was in fourth year. That was uh, 2009, uh, around uh, uh, February, March. Um, there was a fast track selection going on for the defense, uh, for the Air Force entries. So if you clear that, the same day you get, uh, you know, the call letter for SSB in your hand. So it was, that's why it's called fast track uh, selection. Almost like, a, almost like a T20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I was lucky enough to get to know that, uh, you know, it is happening in one of the colleges uh, near Chandigarh. So I went just like, uh, you know, to try it out. So, uh, you know, the dots kept connecting, I would say. Uh, I cleared the first day test on the FTS entry. And uh, by evening, I had my um, call letter for SSB in my hand. And uh, that time I was in Chandigarh for my training of, uh, you know, last semester of the engineering. And uh, I was uh, staying in a PG, which was owned by a retired colonel. So he was more than me. He was excited that somebody, you know, all the girls who were staying, uh, there is somebody who's going to go to defense. So he told me a lot of stories and I even got more motivated, you know, to, uh, that I really want to go, that I want to be part of this wonderful organization. His stories and his tips, you know, kind of uh, kept motivating you. Yeah. So uh, then I went for my interview, uh, the SSB interview, which happened for six, uh, seven days long in Dehradun. And um, yeah, finally it got cleared. They were so happy <laughs> and even the family was so happy because there was nobody in the family in defense. Uh, first of all, I would like to say, uh, you know, it has shaped me to the person that I am today. You know, I don't know what I would have been if not defense, uh, if not Air Force. Uh, I really owe it to the organization the way it is, uh, the way it deals with things, and also the way it teaches you that you don't even realize it. If you ask me the first six months, I never knew that what I'm doing. You know, I was like, because there are so many orders, even for your five minutes, and by the end of day, you're so exhausted. If they say lights out and you have to sleep, you just go up to sleep. Uh, but I feel, uh, that, but that was so beautiful, those six months. Uh, the bonds you make at that time, the uh, people who are getting trained along with you and the way you, uh, you know, the things are inculcated in you, uh, the way you take orders from your senior, the way you become punctual and the way you, you know that which particular dress or the rig you have to wear for what occasion, because that is also very important in uh, defense services. So we have some more than 10 different uh, dress codes for different occasions. You do not realize it at that time, but the major learning is discipline which comes it becomes part of your personality and uh, uh, the second thing i would say is the capability to go and uh, face the adversities there can be adversities which are definitely not known they are all uh, there is a, and as humans there is always fear of unknown 
but your, uh, but your training and uh, the way the whole defense service works, it prepares you for all kind of adversities. You may not have uh, the clear cut, you know, uh, to do list that if this happens, uh, then this. But so I would say the way we can face adversities, especially the defense uh, uh, people, it, it, it is amazing because uh, everything seems starts seeming very normal, you know, after some time that this this happens, it's okay. But the uh, the cliche thing that we hear a lot is that Murphy's law, that even whatever preparation you have done, if things have to go wrong, they will go wrong. And, and uh, you know, it, it is not that we just keep saying it, but it happens. But how quickly we are able to adapt to those adversities and, you know, still take actions and still uh, handle it because it, it is definitely has to be a teamwork. Nobody in defense can alone say that I did it. Absolutely. There is nothing that you can do alone except the, yes, the fighter flyers because uh, then, you know, in the plane you are alone. But again, there is a lot of uh, thing at the background which goes, somebody who prepares your aircraft, somebody who is guiding you on RT. So all those things are there. So I don't think anyone can say that I can uh, individually function in the in the defense forces. And the third thing, you know, I would like to uh, call it the team bonding or the trust that we have on each other. Uh, because if we do not have that, we will not be able to function. One of my uh, most uh, inspirational bosses, you know, once said that teamwork is almost like an orchestra, right? Uh, everybody is doing their part. You know, you might be playing the, the, the piano, I may be singing, somebody else on the drums, and we are trusting each other to deliver. So as long as everybody is playing their instruments well and the singer is singing correct, correctly and using the right notes, the music is going to come out well. And even if one person drops the ball, then you know, the outcome is very different. I just couldn't find time till now to watch it uh, but yes i have read the news or the you know few of the trolls on uh, instagram or other platforms you know from this uh, small town that's called barnala in punjab and and uh, i was the first one to go in defense as officer so uh, in the whole district rather so even for defense services what i have heard there were even few uh, you know uh, ladies who got selected along with me but they could never join because their parents did not allow them. Uh, you know, there is always somebody in the family who breaks that stereotype. Maybe it happens few generations back or for few families it happens, you know, or it is still happening. You have to be more courageous. Even your family has to be because you cannot come on vacation, you know, on a, on a weekend or on regular vacations also. And where you will be posted, you don't have any choice in that. Even few of my father's friend did tell him, you know, uh, is it the right uh, choice of career for her or is it uh, the correct thing that you are sending your daughter and uh, are you not afraid because people you know just relate the defense services to that uh, matter of life and death which yes. is there and it, it is even more when you are in flying because every time you are you know do, going for a sortie it is risky but uh, the thing is uh, thankfully you know uh, my father was like yeah, uh, see whatever life you have to live people die in accidents also people die at home also so sending out going out of the uh, city or the state or going in, uh, you know to different places of the country wasn't done that was my father who, who pushed it who was like okay i want to send my kids outside so that they learn you know they it's can very, explore i'm sorry to interrupt you but it's very interesting you say that because if you look at the movie gunjan saxena uh, you know the father in the in the movie actually is the one who encourages her uh, she gets uh, disqualified the first time because of her height and weight considerations. But he keeps pushing her and makes sure that she gets what she really wants in life. So I think it's similar stories there. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and uh, you know, coming to your second question. So uh, because I have spent uh, a decade in the defense services, right from the training till, you know, the end, Personally speaking, I never felt that there is any discrimination. I was never, uh, you know, I was never at loss of any opportunity or any responsibility just because I'm a woman. So um, I, I just, maybe, you know, the way movie is shown or maybe there will be, because I personally believe that the whole defense services, the trainings and the culture is different, but we are all part of our uh, 
uh, you know the same society or the subset of the same generations that are going on maybe there will be few outliers definitely because they are everywhere even in corporate they will be there there are people do not you know sometimes uh, they cannot personally take it that a exactly. woman is uh, equally working with them or uh, sometimes if you are working under them so that those barriers are i guess we are in a very good state now even in civil or in uh, in the defense services that those barriers are broken you know uh, the numbers are less but we are never made to feel that uh, you are less in capability or you cannot take any responsibility or and this will not be given to you because wherever i was posted you know or whatever assignments i was given to i never uh, felt that there was any discrimination at all 